We'll pass to Costi Hinn, who is also the nephew of, well, famed faith healer Benny Hinn, recently spoke out on the Sneakers and Preachers podcast, where he talked about the prosperity gospel and really exposed it, too, because, of course, him coming from that lifestyle with his uncle, he had a lot to say about this, and I got a full breakdown coming for you. If you can, guys, do me a big favor really quick and just give this video a like. Let's try to get the likes way up here in this video if we could do that. Share the video across all of your platforms. Help me beat the YouTube algorithms. Subscribe here if you are brand new and if you enjoy the daily video content, guys. Also consider sponsoring my Patreon channel here for $5 a month. You can check that pretty link in the description at patreon.com slash conservative truth where I got a lot more content over on the Patreon. Exclusive bonus content, a lot more sensitive information that I talk about over there that I don't bring here to YouTube because they just demonetize everything anyway. They would probably shut my channel down if I even tried to talk about here what I talk about on Patreon. So you don't want to miss it. And it helps a blind and fat guy out, guys. So help a blind and fat guy out. Thank you so much for that. Well, what did Costihan have to say? Well, Costihan is the executive pastor of discipleship at Redeemer Bible Church in Arizona. But on this podcast, he talks about being, you know, from that whole background, the prosperity gospel. Now, for those of you who don't know, Benny Hinn, several months back, he came out and denounced the prosperity gospel. You know, after, you know, just decades upon decades, you all saw Benny Hinn on TBN, uh, you know, always in the white suits and everything and the nice cars. And Costi talked about the fact that he benefited from that. He talked about all the nice cars he had, the rich, lavish lifestyle and everything like that. Well, Benny Hinn, his uncle, several months back, he denounced that and said, that was not the way to go. He was wrong for doing that and that God was, you know, was changing his position on that and really bringing him to a point of repentance. And so Benny has sort of transformed himself. And now that's led over to Costi, where in this podcast, he talks about, and not just talks about, he named several of the current day prosperity gospel preachers. And though he didn't say they're like it was in his uncle's days, they don't really, not the type that drive, you know, around and, you know, with the fancy jets and all that and the white suits, he says, but they, you know, try to appear more trendy to the, to the public now. And they're trying to fit in more with that kind of a lifestyle. And it's all about, you know, just fitting in with the youth of this current generation. And he, he listed names like Carl Lentz, Judah Smith, Rich Wilkerson Jr. Uh, he was uh, Chad uh, Chad Veach. He mentioned, uh, and the list goes on and on from there. And he said, you know, uh, these are gentlemen that are still in this lifestyle as of right now. He said, I grew up around them. I'm not in that myself anymore. But he talked about the fact that look, for years, he said, for years we took advantage and and made a living off the poor while we, you know, we basically deceived the rich. And um, it's very interesting. It's in-depth. If you want to check out more of it, I'll put it down below in the description. You guys could check the transcript of that if you would like. Feel free to let me know any comments you may have down below, whether that be on Kosti Hinn, Benny Hinn, the prosperity gospel in general. What do you think about all of this? Let me know. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.